Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is Chelsea. Um, I was told by a friend that I should do a video on why I converted or how I converted. Um, it's not a like touchy big drama story. Um, I'm just kind of an all-American girl. Um, I mean, I grew up by the beach wearing bikinis and I'm a hairstylist. So, you know, of course, I never covered my hair. I was far from a modest dresser, very far from a modest dresser. I mean, the lower the shirts, the higher the skirts. Um, I used to club a lot. Um, well, I ended up just kind of falling into a point in my life that I needed a change. I needed something different. Um, I had always really kind of considered myself an atheist for a long time. Um, in high school, I tried to do the whole Christian youth group thing. I came a part of this hip-hop church called Crossover Church um, here in Tampa, Florida. Well, I'm over in Orlando now, but in Tampa, Florida, and it was a really great church, and I really loved it, and I loved the people. There's a skate ramp out front, there's graffiti all over the walls. Um, the pastor actually is like a rapper. He's like this white guy rapper with cornrows. So it was always really, really fun to go there. Um, I have a lot of friends who are break dancers, and so they used to always go to break dancing practice there. And so it was kind of a social thing to do, along with them trying to teach you about Christianity. Well, I never really connected with Christianity. I don't know why. I mean, I just, all my family's Christian. Um, I mean, they go to church, you know, four times a week. That's where a lot of their social events are. That's where a lot of their friends are. They're great people. I'm very lucky, alhamdulillah, to have a very loving family. But I just never really connected to a religion in particular. If I was religious, I always thought maybe I'd be Buddhist. Um, I looked into Buddhism a lot because I just love religion and I love studying religion. And I just couldn't grasp a hold of the reincarnation thing and kind of giving up all material possessions. I'm not a very materialistic person, but to like totally give up everything. I mean, I do have some type of emotional significance to jewelry or gifts that were given and and also the whole not believing in a God thing. I mean, I kind of related to that since I did consider myself an atheist. But at the end of the day, I did feel like there might be something bigger than us out there. I just wasn't really sure what it was. So I kind of started considering myself agnostic for a little while. Um, well, like I said, it just kind of came to a part where I probably had the worst year of my life last year. And, you know, they do say that you do find a lot of people converting to different religions when they're going through tough struggles in their life. And, I mean, I don't blame them. I've been there. I've done that. Um, I'm not, of course, going to get into detail. But, I mean, it wasn't an easy year, period. And nobody died or anything. But, um, alhamdulillah. <laughs> But um, it was just a really, really rough year for me. Um, I actually have a lot of Muslim friends. Um, I was really always interested in Arabic, and I loved Arabic music, and I loved belly dancing, and I loved uh, world religions. Um, I kind of educated myself on Islam when I was about 18 years old because I had become friends with a Palestinian Muslim girl in high school and she had actually taken me to mosque for Ramadan and I just started falling in love with it from there I studied it I didn't really understand it at first because I was just such an atheist I just I wouldn't allow myself to even think that there was a God um, so I kind of veered away from it you know looked at it here and there um, well over time I, I started acquiring some more Muslim friends and 
at that point in my life last year where I just felt like I had hit rock bottom and I needed something to lift me up, um, I really looked into Islam more and I grabbed a hold of a Quran and I watched tons and tons of YouTube videos, YouTube videos against Islam, YouTube videos for Islam, um, YouTube videos comparing Christianity to Islam, comparing the Holy Bible to the Quran, um, ways of praying, um, you know, I wanted to know how it related to other religions, I wanted to know what I had to do to be a Muslim, and it was hard, I mean, I was an avid drinker, um, I was a smoker, I was a tight clothes, shorts wearing, hair all crazy person. Um, I am very much an American. Uh, my family is very American. Um, our culture is to drink, to, to go out, to wear more revealing clothes. Um, so for me it was very hard in my conversion. Um, it wasn't very easy for my family to accept it either. A big question with um, my cousin was, you know, do you feel connected to God? And it's funny, you know, I almost wanted to laugh at her because I feel more connected with God and Islam than I ever have at any period of time in my life. Um, you know, of course, my family felt bad because they felt like I didn't, they didn't show me the way for Christianity. And I didn't want them to feel bad about that. I told them, like, it's okay. Like, I'm happy. I'm in a very good place religiously, spiritually. Um, I love my religion, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, and a, a big thing of mine was that I... I I could not grasp that God had a son, and I think that was a really big thing for me when, um, you know, when I was involved with Christianity, um, and I just didn't feel connected to the Bible. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was my maturity level or whatever. Maybe if I looked at Christianity now in a different light, it would be different, but since I've converted to Islam, it's the truth for me. So now I, I, I watch, um, I'm not sure of his name, I want to say his name is Yusuf, he's an older gentleman, um, he's a convert as well, um, he has a lot of YouTube videos, and I remember him saying, like, you know, the Bible kind of led him to Islam, to the Quran, and, and the Bible just justifies everything that he's read in the Quran. And for me, maybe that's how it would be now if I really tapped into Christianity. Um, I love my family. I, I love their values. Um, I love that they believe what they believe. Um, I would never try to convert them. That's, that's just not who I am. Um, alhamdulillah, you know, my dad being an atheist as well has accepted me with open arms, telling me multiple times that he'd stick up for me um, if anybody ever said anything. You know, my brother being an atheist, he's the same way, very accepting, alhamdulillah. My, my mother is very accepting, very loving. Oh, something just finished downloading. <laughs> um, now everybody is kind of getting used to the hijab thing. It is taking a little while, but alhamdulillah, you know, they, they do like it, even though they feel like it's a little extreme for some reason. Um, I try to explain to them as much as possible that, you know, it's just, it, it's my choice. I enjoy doing it. I want to do it. Um, I also find it very beautiful. I think that's a way that God kind of connected hijab with me is that aesthetically, I find it very appealing. Um, and I think that, you know, God made us to be beautiful with this on regardless. Um, so that's how I converted. I converted about last year. I did my shahada alone in my bedroom. Um, nothing really special. I got a little teary eyed. Um, and ever since then, my life has just gone up and, and up. And I'm at a point in my life, I'm in school. I'm actually at work right now. <laughs> um, you know, I have a house and I can pay my bills and, um, I'm good and I'm happy. So alhamdulillah. So thank you. That's my video. Bye.